Good morning from the cold streets of Dublin. Today is an exciting morning. I'm making my way to my friend's house, who is also the guy who prints my photos. And I am so pumped to see my photos being printed in big sizes and get them ready for the exhibition. I'm also excited to say this sentence for the very first time. So, roll that intro. We always so used to export our photos and compress them so Instagram doesn't destroy them when we post them. But uh, having our material printed is actually something that I really love, really enjoy to see my photos in paper, in my hands and being able to touch them and you know. And this is one of the reasons why we are organizing an exhibition so we can have these photos printed and we can look at them and we can also get other people to look at them. So if you don't know what I'm talking about about this exhibition, I have a photography exhibition coming up on the 11th of February. I'm gonna make a completely separate video about it. I'm just so pumped about it that I can't stop talking about it. That's, that's why I'm talking about it here. But uh, this print that I'm going to, to grab now, they are all going to be in the exhibition. And actually the guy who's printing, his name is Alberto. Uh, he's gonna be there as well. He's gonna be showing his work as well. I think it's time for us to start making our way to his home before I miss the Lewis, because if I miss this Lewis, I'm also gonna miss the train. Uh, that'll be a big problem. So let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Waterford. Uh, I don't see my, my friend here. Maybe he abandoned me. When we're waiting for him, we can actually chat about why did I not just send him the files and he make the prints and send them over to me? Well, the main reason is because his monitor can be different from mine. So he has a calibrated monitor, which I am not sure if my monitor is. So I want to open my pictures on his screen and see how different they are. And maybe I can do final touches in there. Uh, second, and I think this is actually the most important, is because I want to see them come into life. I want to see the printer making every single line and just, I want to be there and I want to see all those images coming out of the printer. I'll come back to you once we get to his place, if he actually comes to pick me up. Also, how'd you like this? Should I keep that? As you can see, I had a lot of free time on, on the train. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you like that. We got to uh, Alberto's house. We're currently on his studio, and that's actually a much better setup than mine. I just want to briefly introduce Alberto to the channel. He was one of the inspirations for the Scotland vlog, uh, so it's time to say hello to him. Hey guys, how are you doing today? So welcome to my humble studio, and we're here today to print a these, lot of photos. A lot of photos today, yeah, a lot, a lot of things. A lot of work to do today, a lot. And we're here having fun. So welcome, and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. So we already have the first uh, print coming out, just back here. But before we even get close to the, to the printer, there's a lot of work going on on this side of the table here, which is where we compare the colors on, the, on different screens. So this, this is my laptop here. That's uh, where I edit my photos. And that's Alberto's here. And the big screen is what he's, he's used to print from. So he already knows what comes out of this screen compared to the printer. The next thing before we even get started to print is to select the kind of paper that we're gonna be using. I don't know much about papers and like printing photos is something completely new for me. Uh, so I am going to give the word to the person who actually understands what he's talking about. <laughs> Please make the honors. No, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. No, I don't understand that much, but uh, alongside with understanding the colors and have the correct colors to print your photos, it's really important to select the right paper. So for this project, for the exhibition, uh, we are using an Hannah Mule paper. It's a German paper made out, out of cotton. So this is a 315 grams paper. So that's the paper. This is a glossy fine art paper. So this paper is used 
in museums and art galleries all around the world, and it lasts around 300 years. So I think it's time enough to have your art hanging on the wall. I'm not going to be here. The art is going to be here. Our the, work the is going to be here. The legacy. The legacy. The legacy of our work and the sweat and the money. <laughs> they have been putting <laughs> all the equipment and all our yeah, dreams first. and everything. Yeah, yeah. So it's really important. If you're going to print, make sure to have quality papers, quality printers, quality ink, and don't forget to calibrate your monitor as well. It's really, really important part of the printing process. Print's done and it looks amazing. The quality on this paper and this printer is just, I don't know, I just, just can't express it. Let's have a look, uh, see how it looks against, it, against the screens. So here we have my screen, which is the darkest one of the, so we can see that the print is a mix between these two screens. But there's always gonna be a difference when you print photos, uh, when you compare it to the, to the screen because the screen is backlit, so the, the photo is lit from the back. And when we're looking at the picture, the, the light's hitting from the front. So there's always going to be a very small difference, but the results are amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is a long process. Each print on an A2 size, it takes about 35 to 40 minutes to get the, to get the print on. But the feeling of having this print here in front of me is amazing. It's so nice to finally have it. It, it, can, it came out exactly the way how I saw it coming. It's, it's incredible. Just, just, just look at this. Then again, I could have gone for a cheaper way of making this on regular paper with regular ink, but the satisfaction of having the frame, having the print here in front of me, on this level of quality with this texture on the paper, that's just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to describe this. I have to tell you, I am very nervous to sign my first print. What if I screw up my own name? <laughs> oh my God, there was so much pressure. So much pressure writing my own name. And uh, like, I, I can't screw up writing my own name now, can I? Well, I was afraid I would. And just when I, was, when I finished that one, I already see another A2 coming out of there. And it's just, it looks amazing. I am astonished with the results of the sprints. I'm so happy. I was actually gonna finish the video on Alberto's house. But we spent so much time on the prints that I was actually gonna miss a train if I finished the video on his studio. So, I'm back in my own setup. And I was actually missing it. There was quite a few times I didn't shoot a video here. So what is the point of this vlog? Why am I doing this? Well, the first thing is that I want to show you how serious I am about my prints. Because I could have just sent them to a regular printer and get regular paper and regular ink instead of going to the fine art, which is like what I did with Alberto. And more than that, instead of going to a big lab that prints hundreds of pictures a day, I chose to go to a, a friend of mine, a person that I trust, that I know is gonna look after every single picture that I ask him to print. The next thing, which is probably the most exciting one, is that I am launching for the first time an online business. So I am putting these prints for sale. I'm working on a website, which I kind of wanted to have it ready for this video, but it's not yet. It will be soon. I want to get all the bits and tweaks uh, ready to go. But uh, for future reference, the link is down in the description. It's definitely gonna be ready before the exhibition, guaranteed. So if you are from the future and you're looking at this video and you're like, oh yeah, this guy's all prints, down in the description or check them out. Before I go, I wanna say two thank yous. So the first thank you is to Alberto. He's one of the best photographers that I know personally, if not the best. The amount of knowledge that that bald head has, it's ridiculous. The first time we talked about prints, I couldn't actually understand three quarters of what he was saying. He knows so much about printing, he's doing for a while. And just the fact that he invited me to go to his studio and let me shoot the vlog and just have a great day with him, that was amazing. It's when you're around someone who knows more about something than you do, 
this is the moment that you can actually improve and learn and develop as a creator or as anything. Being with people who know more is a great opportunity. So I really appreciate this time that I've, that I spent with you, brother. Anyway, he is an amazing photographer, videographer, drone pilot, vlogger, YouTuber. The guy is a beast. So I highly recommend you to go check him out. And the second thank you is to you. You who are watching all my videos, you who are being a part, leaving comments, uh, watching like the Scotland vlog, the feedback was amazing. Like I wasn't expecting so many messages, so many views, so like there was that just blew my mind. The YouTube journey is being great. I it opened so many doors for me that I wasn't expecting. I would never have thought of going to Scotland to take pictures if it wasn't for this. And that trip opened doors for me to start an exhibition. That opened doors for me to start an online store of selling my, my photos. So it's a journey and the doors are being opened one by one. But I assume this video is gonna be very long. So I'm gonna leave it here for now and I'm gonna come back probably the next one I'll be talking about the exhibition. We should have put a counter of how many times I said exhibition on this video. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel because three quarters, three quarters of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So big chances are you're not. So go subscribe to the channel, hit that bell as well so you get notifications from when I post new videos. And like this video, say a hello in the comments, send this video to a friend who needs inspiration to go after and get, and get his prints done. As always, I will see you in the next one.